Hi, this is Chris Richard with Personal Pitcher, and this is how you play wiffle ball. Now, wiffle ball is a backyard game, so there's lots of different rules you can create. However, there's a lot of leagues that started up in the Northeast. Wiffle ball originated in Shelton, Connecticut, and they started making their own wiffle balls out of plastic because they kept breaking windows with baseball. So they needed something they could use in the backyard, and they came up with this. Um, the official wiffle ball bat, and the ball is typically how it goes. There's a lot of plastic bats out there and balls that you can use, but the uh, official one is the yellow one. So look for the yellow bat. Now the field is a piece of pie where it's like this. Usually a regular field is 90 degrees, but it's about 70 degrees and it goes out and there's no base running. You just have single line, a double line, a triple. It's usually the fence. If it hits the, the fence in the air, it's a triple. Obviously if it goes over the fence, it's a home run. The fences are set at about 100 feet. Uh, the mound is about 40 feet to 44 feet away and the strike zone is 21 by 28 inches and it's about 15 inches off the ground. So it's basically a rectangle strike zone and it's usually made out of 10 so when the ball hits it it makes a nice ping sound to it. Um, five balls equals a walk, two strikes equals a strikeout. Usually games are five innings long, uh, six innings for a championship. But you can make up your own rules. There's some kind of neat rules with wiffle ball. If you feel the ground ball and throw it into the strike zone, it's a double play. If you catch a fly ball and throw it into the strike zone, it's a double play. Doesn't matter who's on base, but those, uh, those kind of neat little things make wiffle ball an interesting game. Safe to play in the backyard, and when you don't have a lot of space, it's awesome. So go get your wiffle ball, bat, and ball, and go out and have a good time. <laughs>